Hey, what's up everybody? Justin with ExtremeTerrain.com and as you can see, we got our 2021 Bronco back in the shop here today and we're gonna have fun test fitting some bigger wheels and tires on this thing. Now, in order to make room for those 35s and even 37s, we need to get rid of those factory crash bars first. We're gonna take the bumper off, show you what you need to do in order to remove those factory crash bars and that's gonna make way for those bigger wheels and tires. Now, if you guys may or may not know that factory Sasquatch Bronco, well, it comes with those awesome 35s from the factory. Well, that truck actually benefits from just over an inch of suspension lift and it has those crash bars removed from the factory. So that's how it's able to get those bigger meats under there. We have no lift on this stock Big Ben right now. So we're gonna get those crash bars out of the way, see if we can get those 35s in there without the lift. And then if we have luck with that, we're gonna throw those 37s on and see how we do. Take it for a little spin, maybe articulate the suspension a bit and just see if it's gonna rub. Guys, we hope you enjoy this kind of cool Bronco content. We certainly love bringing it to you. So be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more stuff like this, but for now, let's get those crash bars out of the way. All right, guys, getting started here. Again, before we can even think about throwing a 35 or even a 37 in here, we need to remove these crash bars. Now, because our bumper is a standard bumper, we have to remove that first before we can slide out those crash bars. If you have Ford's heavy duty modular steel bumper, well, you're in luck because basically you can unbolt a few of those Bronco bolts, remove the end caps, and at that point, slide the crash bars out. That's not the case here. We have to remove this bumper first, so that's what we're gonna show you how to do now. Now we can start tackling some of the main bolts responsible for holding the bumper in place. All you have to do is simply pull back on this cap here, get this out of the way. We're gonna remove those last two bolts while holding onto the bumper at the same time and carefully remove it from the Bronco. Now, if this is the first time you're taking your bumper off, you will have this little Christmas tree clip to contend with. Grab a panel removal tool, flathead screwdriver, and then pop this off and your bumper will be off. With our bumper out of the way, now you can get a clear view of the front crash bar here, guys, and the two 15 millimeter bolts that are holding it in place. Let's get these things removed. These bolts removed, simply slide out your crash bar. Of course, don't forget to plug in your fog light harness on the driver's side before moving on. But with those crash bars out of the way, let's get these puny 32s out of here and start fitting some real wheels and tires. All right, guys, we just finished up installing and driving our first setup here of the day. So let's break it down. The wheel is a 17 by eight and a half inch pro comp. It's called the Rockwell. It's a zero or neutral offset. And wrapped around that is a 315 70R17 Kanati all-terrain tire. And I'm happy to report absolutely zero rubbing no lift whatsoever and those crash bars removed. Now, just for reference sake here, guys, that 315 70R17 is the same exact tire size that Ford puts on the Sasquatch package, basically those factory offered 35s. So it's a good reference point here to see the difference between the slight lift of that Sasquatch package and basically a stock suspension of everything else. I'd have no hesitancy driving this thing every day, guys. We took it out in the parking lot. We did some turns forward and back, lock to lock. We even flexed it on this little grass hill behind the shop just to get a sense of what it would do if we stuffed it into the wheel well. And it didn't rub at all. So really happy to report that. So guys looking to run a 35 on the stock suspension, removing those crash bars, guess what? You can do it. And you can even get pretty aggressive with the offset as we've done here with the zero. So next up, those big boy 37s. I'm kind of curious to see what's gonna happen with no lift and a slightly aggressive offset. So what do you say we get these 35s off and start the party?
Well, we just got done installing and driving our second set of wheels and tires here in today's video. Again, stock suspension. Let's break them down. The wheels probably look pretty familiar. That's because they are. It's the same Pro Comp Rockwell wheel, 17 by eight and a half, zero or neutral offset. Wrapped around them now though, we have these massive Kanadi 37 by 1250s. And believe it or not, guys, they fit a lot better than I thought they were going to. Now we did have a small amount of rubbing here with our base bumper with this plastic bumper near the cap. Now, if you're handy or you're willing, you can always take a Dremel, make some modifications to it. Or if you have that modular Ford bumper, you can always pop those end caps off and problem solved. The third option, level or lift your truck, and that way you could get a little bit more real estate as well. So as the truck sits right now, stock suspension, 37, somewhat aggressive offset. I probably wouldn't recommend driving something like this day in, day out, unless you live on the smoothest roads known to man, and you promise to never take your truck off-road. But again, if you make some minor modifications, either change the bumper, change your altitude, or both, you can certainly get away with the 37 here on the 21 Bronco and it is pretty awesome, right? This is good stuff. It's very exciting to do these kind of tests and bring you guys the results. Hey, we hope you enjoyed this video. We wanna hear from you. What size tires are you rocking on your Bronco? 35s, 37s, which ones are you digging? Drop us a comment and let us know. But in the meantime, I'm Justin. Thanks for watching and for all things Bronco, keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.